Very welcome to BCSN. Thanks for joining. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And of course, uh, like our videos and watch as much as you can. It helps the network. So we are here at Vanport um, with a fall friendly uh, for varsity teams in the area hosted by Beaver High School. Um, and this game today is against Southside and Western Beaver. And these are two completely opposite uh, teams uh, as far as classifications go. Um, Southside, I think, is 2A. They might be single A, actually. And uh, Western Beaver's 5A. So it's a big difference here. So we'll see what happens. And I was talking to some folks I know from Southside, and they're missing a lot of their varsity players. They have several eighth graders uh, filling in. So those of you who don't know me, my name's Bill Littler. Uh, I've been doing this for a year now. Uh, I started it late last summer and uh, I didn't expect it to grow as quickly as it did uh, but uh, you know it's pretty big now pretty excited about it and uh, I try to do as many games as I can so it looks like we're gonna get started here these games are uh, an hour and a half long so this one started here, what, 13, is that 125, something like that. First pitch, Miss Lowe. Now, of course, I don't know a lot of these girls with uh, Southside. I'm just learning Western. That was a hard hit foul. Try to follow along with Game Changer as much as I can. And hopefully, my batteries stay strong. There's a couple umpires that I haven't seen before, and this is one of them. Two and two. But wait a second. I think I know who this is. Yeah, I know who this is. My bad. And I missed that because I was looking at the umpire, but uh, she beat out the throw, so she, base runner, is on first. I think that's. Is he a fever? I think the B silent. There's a still attempt. She's going to be in there. Easy. Do a replay. Nice slide at first. Like it. Called strike. Miss Ty. So this is our fourth game this weekend so far. Um, we have two more today. Then I'm going to do, I think, three tomorrow. No. 
Yeah, I'm going to do three tomorrow. There's ball four. It's a beat. Western Beaver has uh, runners on the corners. No, wait, first and second. My bad. Nobody out. This is Shay Shaw. She she was crushing the ball yesterday in a game that I did called strike. She was three for three, I think. Just three solid hits. Pop ball. Yeah, I think after it's all said and done, she could be the one of the best hitters in the county. She is a senior this year. Committed to Slippery Rock. So we have a 0 and 2 count. Called strike three. So the catcher, I think they were on the steal, and uh, she threw it away. So that does score a run for Western. Yeah, I didn't see the throw. I'm just imagining it was a errant throw, or maybe the third baseman missed it, but uh, on the strikeout they did score, run on a air. And up now is Emma Bagaki. Miss Lowe. One's account. Called strike. Swing and a miss. One thing I said this yesterday. One thing I really like about Western is when these girls strike out, they hustle off that field. There's no moping or whatever you want to call it. They hustle off. Striking out, it's part of the game. Girls need to know that. Everyone does it. Missed high. A lot of times girls just get too hard on themselves. Missed outside. I had about 10 Lantern flies land on me already today. There's a swing and a miss. That ball is in right field. It's going to be fair. That scores one. And she'll stay on second for a double, RBI double. It's a nice hit. That was Western's catcher. Um, I don't know her first name, it's Zeely. And this is uh, Maddie. I always say their name wrong. Saika, Maddie Saika. There you go. 
getting it. Swing and a miss. She definitely pulled her head on that. Got to keep your head in there. Can't hit what you don't see. Southside had a uh, freshman pitcher pitch the first game. There's a foul ball. Ring off, surname. But they won't throw her this game. I talked to the one coach already. Maybe the uh, nightcap will watch her. There's a ball in play. Shortstop. Need to die for it, but it got through. And she's gonna be safe. Let's see a replay on that. It didn't seem like it was hit that hard. I don't know if the shortstop misplayed it. There was a play at the plate, but they got there. All right, so taking a minute to clean off the plate. And a runner advanced to second on the throw, which is good, good base running. So Western uh, picked up a 3-0 lead. strike and still it's the top of the first two outs runner on second there's a ball in play and it's going to be caught that's three outs I don't think the team knows it All right, they figured it out. Okay, so let's uh, take a break for our sponsor. We'll be right back. All right, so M7 Sports is our local sports agency. Uh, if your daughter's interested in uh, playing college ball uh, and the name, image, and likeness um, advantage uh, that you can that the kids can take advantage of, is uh, M7 Sports is where to go. Um, if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and do that. They uh, are doing a lot for our student athletes in the area. They have uh, professional photographers, uh, graphical design, um, all kinds of stuff. They're doing. They're getting into the e-commerce side of stuff. They call it uh, M7 Shop. You'll see more and more of that. 
Uh, but yeah, they're doing a, doing a lot for uh, eSports. I'm glad, glad to be a partner. All right, so this is called Strike One. This is Southside's first at bat this game. Let's see if I can figure out who's up. Is it Ashley DeLong? I'm guessing her first name. No, I didn't get to do much with Southside last year. Um, they weren't really plugged in. Um, I didn't get any feedback from the coaches, so it, uh, it was hard to kind of follow them, and I couldn't see them on Game Changer either, so hopefully I'll get more engagement from that team this coming season and learn more about them. I know they're a young team. Um, they uh, didn't graduate many from last year. Missed high, ball four. So there's south side lead off runners on base. There's uh, Joey Statler. He played baseball with him in high school. Foul ball. We don't have a name associated with this player. There's a third of first. Different pitcher, her name's C Verba. I don't know what C is. What would C be? There's a steal attempt. It's a nice throw, but the ball couldn't be handled by the shortstop. So she's in there for the stolen base. It's a a little to the left there, but uh, and a missed strike three. There's a first strikeout for for Verba. Just outside. Let's see if I can get a name for this batter. <laughs> no, they're just putting numbers in. There's a foul ball. Yeah, again, I, I don't know a lot about South Side here, so. There's a nice hit. It's gonna be foul. Good contact. Called strike three. That was a nice pitch there. 
see if I can do a quick replay before the next batter gets in. Nice pitch. Hit the corner. Perfect. There's a foul ball how to play. slow. Nice job by the catcher there. She works hard behind that plate. This is a replay here. Good job. Ooh, missed a hit. That's going to roll all the way to the fence. Scores one. And they're going to Hold up with a triple. Nice hit. Scores one. It puts Southside on the board. I was admiring that block by the uh, Western Beaver catcher. Nice hit, though. Girl was uh, Dunham, is her last name. trapped and balls thrown into the outfield and Southside scores another they had her caught in a pickle rundown but uh, I don't know if it was a bad throw or it got away from the fielder but uh, it rolled into the outfield and scored the run so we got 3-2 with two outs. Nobody on. Ooh, inside. Again, nice play by the catcher to get that. A swing and a miss. Let's see if I can find South Side and Game Changer. Foul ball. It sounded like a nice hit. See him anywhere. There's a ball in play. And it's going to be caught by the right fielder for the third out. Nice play there. All right, 
so we'll be back after uh, give some love to one of our vendors or uh, sponsors. Right, our sorry about that. I missed the walk. I got distracted there. So we have a runner on first. She was walked, and next batter shows bunt. Steal attempt. And she's gonna get there safely. This is the second inning, I believe. There's a ball play there. It's going to get to left field. And it's going to score another run. So it's a RBI single for that was the Tom Kowski sisters. Stacking hits, scoring a run. So it's 4 2 Western Beaver. It is the second inning, so let me. Change that. I always forget. There's a ball in play, but it's going to be foul. High on that one. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three.
just inside. Called strike there. I'm trying to see the on uh there's a swing in this game changer. I think they're behind. It's a hard hit, but it's foul. It's 0 2, looks like. One out. Another, uh, second base, I believe. There's another foul. Let's grab some pop, but she swings all arms. She's not using her legs at all. Gotta stay in your legs. That's where all your power's at. I see several girls like that. Swing and miss. There's potential there. She could, uh, she has some pop. Get those legs in there. Who knows what could happen. All right, let's see who's up next here. There's a runner on second still, two outs. There's a ball play. Second makes the play at first, and that'll end the inning, right? It's three outs. Yep. So replay there. All right, we'll take a break for one of our vendors and be right back. All right, so fenceclip.com, uh, they are, um, they make uh, devices that hold your cameras to the backstop. Uh, I love our stuff, very durable. Um, there's a swing and a miss for strike one. Uh, they, easy to use, they're made in the USA, so you get, actually talk to somebody for support. Um, the guy who owns it is Gary Truesdale. And uh, he donated one of the clips to the network. So I liked pushing him, pushing business to him. But yeah, his stuff is, is very nice. <laughs> and he has options for cell phones. Uh, GoPros, Mevos, pretty much any camera. There's a swing and a miss, strike three.
called strike. Oh, it toots the count now. There's a ball play. Back to the pitcher. It gets the out at first. Those comebackers sometimes are tough, but that was a perfect bounce for her. Called strike. Cut the corner outside. about that one. Umpire called a strike. It's what it is. Oh, she swung at that one. Strike three. That'll end the inning. That was a quick one. All right. So we will take another short break and be right back. Okay, so Brady's Run Fitness is one of our sponsors. They have a gym down in Brady's Run Park. Um, it uh, no contracts, open it's 24 by 7. They have a staff of trainers. Uh, and they also have a small area that's turfed and a small batting cage. So if you're looking for some some place for indoor reps, give them a call. They might be able to help you. There's a hit over the center fielder's head. She's going to go to three. And she's going to get there. Stand up triple. That probably could have been caught by the outfielder, but you know, she definitely misread it. So that's a leadoff triple. This is uh, Bella Calatriano. She's going to put down a bunt, and make an error on the throw, run scores, and Bella advances to second. why bunting is effective. Puts the pressure on the defense and mistakes are made. I'll take a bunt over a fly ball any day of the week. And this is Shea Shaw. slow and outside. There's a hard hit 
foul. Let that ball travel way ahead of it. There's a ball play. That one's going to be caught. The runner stays at second. So that is the first out. Then we have Emma Bagaki up. She's 0 for 1. There's a ball hit to second. Gets the out at first. That'll be two. Runner does advance to third. That brings up the catcher, I believe. Zeely. I need to figure out her first name. Pretty cool call by the umpire. She wanted to call that a strike, but she stopped. Let's see if I can get this in before the pitch. Ball hit to right field. She's going to go two. And she's up. RBI double. Okay, let's see who's out here. This is, I believe, Maddie Saika. Yeah, first pitch is a ball. Do have a runner on second. Missed inside. Swing to miss. There's a oh, play, no, it's out of play. There are two outs, runner on second. And of course, I got the inning wrong. It's the third inning. And there's going to be another run scored. RBI single. Ball was hit uh, to right center. So still two outs. Slow, that got kicked away by the catcher, and she's gonna advance the second. Western Beaver here starting to pull away. What are we doing? Uh, looks like Southside are making a change. I bet you they're bringing someone in to warm up a little bit. Called strike. This umpire gives a lot on the outside part of the plate. Almost into the river. I'd be thrown out there all day. So swing and a miss. One and two count. Mm. That was close.
close. She's called that a strike before. I'm getting tired of these lantern flies. There's a foul ball. Getting close to my camera. There's a nice hit. Caught by the left fielder. Nice job. Catching on a replay here. A charge on that one. Boom. Nice hit. But caught by the outfielder. So it'll be three. So we'll be back with the bottom of the third, I believe. But we'll be right back. photo bombs they donated the signs that I have so I have a sign that I have hanging by my cameras and I also I have tags that are that have a barcode that you can scan and it'll take you to the YouTube channel um, photo bombs donated all that he has a photo booth business with all the props and backgrounds and all that. And he, he sets up at parties, graduation parties, um, you know, weddings, whatever. And it looks like the catcher got dinged a little bit. you get hit like out on a foul ball or whatever it's it's scary like you you feel like you should be hurt but you aren't but your mind is like wow I should be hurt it shakes you up for sure remember the short time I umpired I got hit on a foul ball with my mask and I'm like whoa what the heck just happened so it looks like they're going to take her out. It's probably a good thing to do just to be safe. This is only fall ball. There's no reason to push it. So we'll take a break and we'll talk about the survivor pool. So this is uh, this network's fundraiser and I hope this grows to be the only fundraiser I need to do uh, but uh, this is the first year so it's still chugging along so I have 60 entries uh, and it's about $360 winning pot uh, all you have to do is pick one winning NFL team every week if you pick a winner you move on to the next week if you pick a loser you're out and uh the uh, trick is, is you can't pick the same team twice. So uh, it's $10 an entry, $6 goes to the winning pot, and $4 goes to the network. And of course, I'll use this money to pay for uh, monthly fees and uh, equipment upgrades and that kind of thing. Um, 
hope so, but I do hope to grow this big enough where it kind of uh, helps with the network. Um, I have plans of doing uh, scholarships for softball, senior softball players um, in the area, but I need help to grow this. So if you can sign up, go to survivor.bcsoftballnetwork.com. Well, looks like we got a new catcher geared up and ready to go. The ball play to second makes a nice play in that first second hole and uh, gets the out first. I didn't switch over quick enough, but that was a nice job, nice play. So that'll be the first out. trying to stay in the shade. There's a swing and a miss. Miss low. Check swing. I don't think they called a strike on it. Foul ball. This game is only in the third inning. It feels so much longer than that. There's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Don't walk. Hustle off that field. All right, I think this is the top of the order. There's a swing and a miss. Oh, and two. There are two outs. Swing and a miss, strike three. That'll be the inning. So after three innings, we have Western Beaver up. Seven to two. We'll be back in a second. So M7 
agency or M7 Sports. Uh, there is a sports agency located in Beaver, and uh, you'll see more and more of them. They're starting to pick up uh, a lot of clients and, and uh, doing a lot of things in the community. Um, they're opening up a facility down between uh, the El Equipa and Center Exit off of 376. And uh, that's going to have you know, a large court, or I'm sorry, a large uh, turf area. And there's going to be basketball courts, volleyball, uh, a lot of other things too. It's going to be a pretty nice uh, facility that this area needs. So um, M7 is doing a lot. Uh, they also can help your uh, high school athletes with uh, recruiting and also name, image, and likeness services. So um, there's a lot of stuff out there uh, for the uh, social marketing aspect of stuff. And uh, these athletes can take advantage of some of those opportunities, but you need to have someone like M7 to help you navigate through those laws just to make sure you're doing everything within the law and not getting in trouble with the um, P P I double A or the uh, whip you. My daughter signed up with him her senior year and uh, they've been doing a lot for photo shoots and all kinds of social media cards. She's going to be releasing a um, shop uh, selling merchandise for her uh, as well through M7. This girl walked her first at bat. Miss Ty. Two and two's the count. Gotta change the inning. There's a hit ball hit foul out of play. It's a swing and a miss. Strike three. Isn't it? Yeah, strike three. So it's the first out. And this is the other Tomkowski player here. I'm assuming they're sisters. I don't know if they're twins or um, close enough to apart to be teammates. Not sure. There's a swing and a miss. I will be interviewing um, Coach Hannah from Western Beaver this winter on my small ball podcast. So maybe that'll be a question that I ask. Miss Ty. I didn't get to stream many, uh, many games for Western last year just because uh, they never really played my daughter and their schedule never allowed me to. Um, they always seemed to be playing whenever my daughter was playing. and, and uh, I didn't want to not watch my daughter, so I never got to do them. This year coming up, I'll, I'll have the freedom to pick and choose what games I want to do. Called strike three. It's two outs. Oh, 
called strike. Caught the inside corner. Oh, where's the nice hit? And that's gonna fall for extra bases. Yeah, she's in with the double. Nice hit. Stand up double. Nice hit. So there's two outs, runner on second. There's a swing and a miss. a late swing. I think this is the batter that I saw. That she swings all upper body. She can learn to get her legs into it. She can have a lot of power. She grounds out to second for the final out. All right, so that was the top of the fourth, and we'll be back for the bottom of the fourth. Let me see what sponsors we have. I mean, I already mentioned this, and so we might as well talk about it. So my small ball podcast is going to start in November, and we have um, several episodes lined up. The first one is going to be what I'm calling Travel Ball Then and Now. And what it is is, is I'm going to interview several people who have a lot of experience in travel ball for years give us an idea how travel was years ago and compare it to what's happening uh, today in travel ball I know there's a lot of uh, you know there's a, there's a lot of things that being done in the travel world that that I don't think are the best thing for the girls put it that way I feel like a lot of these tournaments are more of a money grab than it is and a benefit for the players um, you know there's a lot of too many teams you know when you play in a tournament where you're only able to play three or four uh, innings you know I just don't think that's what's best for these kids um, but uh, we'll talk to people who've been around for years in this game and and uh, you know want to give me any feedback on on how travel ball used to be and what it is today next break I'll talk about more shows that we're doing but that show there I'm looking forward to it it's travel ball then and now and I have three guests that I have in mind to interview Ooh, swing and miss. That was almost. She didn't want to swing and die. She did anyway. There's a foul ball out of play. I'm doing the next game right after this. It's, it's going to be Mohawk versus Blackhawk. I was watching Blackhawk play Central Valley. Blackhawk's number one pitcher took a ball right off the shin. I don't know how she is, but I'm sure that's sore. There's a foul ball out of play. It's her name's Peyton Kimmerlin, I think. And she's a junior, I believe. If she's a senior. I don't think she is. She might be. I don't know. Miss Ty. There's a ball hit. That's going to be caught by the right fielder. Nice job. It's a pretty decent hit. There's 
just a little bit too high, too underneath it. Catch. I don't think anyone's on base, no. Shows bunt again. We won't miss it that time. One of one's account. Swing and a miss. Strike two. a foul ball. Miss, drop third strike, and she throws it the first to finish the out. Watch a replay on that one. Just popped out of her glove. I don't know if she wanted to lob it like that. Just take two or three steps into fair play, get yourself a good angle, and throw a strike. There's a hit to second. Nice stop. And she didn't get her. That was a nice play, though. Yeah, good try. Making plays. That's what you want to do. So there's a runner on first here. Oh, that got past the catcher. Runner's going to advance to second. There's a ball play past the pitcher. Shortstop catches it. Gets the out at first, and that'll end the inning. The batter didn't even follow through. Nice play. All right, so after four, we have Western still up 7-2. And uh, let's talk a little bit about podcast so um, aside from that first uh, episode uh, one of the most popular requests was doing more player interviews so um, I'll do 10 uh, high school seniors softball players um, interviews and I've been reaching out to them and uh, getting the okays to do it so so far all of them have agreed to it I have a two or three more that I'm waiting a response for but uh, yeah things are going well with that um, the uh, the other thing is I'm doing an interview with coach MAGA from Western Beaver and I'm going to interview a college coach um, I haven't talked to him yet but uh, I'm pretty sure he'd be willing to do it just to kind of get the behind the scenes look of how 
colleges recruit players and what they look for and and uh, maybe some tips to help the girls who want to play college ball. Um, and then I'm looking at the course that preview show that we'll do before the season starts. And oh, I'm going to do um, a show on a, the journey of my daughter's uh, Division One recruitment. First pitch was a called strike. Um, the idea of it is just to give everyone, both players and parents, an idea of, of what she did to become the player that she was and, and uh, get the attention that she got from uh, the coaches who recruited her. Um, it's a lot of work involved. And uh, we'll talk about you know the recruiting process that she did what team pa did for her um you know the different trainings and things that that she went through and um, all the different events that she attended camps and all that stuff we'll talk about it all and hopefully it helps give some kids and parents some direction on uh you know what works and what didn't work and all that other good stuff. <coughs> this player here, I'm assuming she's one of Western's younger players here. Ball play. I'll tell you what, she uh she makes a lot of contact. Yeah, she has some mechanics to work on, but you know, she didn't swing and miss anything. She was making contact, hands-eye coordination. Good to work with there. There's a ball hit. That's going to be foul. No, it's fair. It's fair. She gets a double. I thought that was foul, but the way the third baseman reacted, but it went down that line and stayed fair. That was Izzy Lefevre. Lefevre. Someone told me how to pronounce that, and I forget. Miss Ty. strike. I don't know about that one. Pick off play. Let's see if I can catch a replay on that. I think that was a little bit high. There's a ball in play. Back to the pitcher, to the shortstop. Gets the out at first, but does score a run. So I'm getting attacked by another lantern fly. All right, so we have, there's a hit. And it's gonna be caught by the left fielder. Is that Shea Shaw again? 
She really swings the bat violently. That'll be three outs. All right, so we'll be back in a sec. All right, we are back. And there's a hit right away to third. Makes the play first. Do a replay on that. I was gonna talk a little bit about on demand here, but this batter had a different idea. Nice play. So yeah, on demand. Um, all the games that I stream uh, will be on the YouTube channel um, so you can go back and watch any of them and I encourage you to do so and the reason why is because I need to um, build up my watch hours is what they're called and what that does is uh, I need I need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers and what that'll do is um, allow me to monetize on YouTube which will hopefully help um, pay for the network will pay for itself itself that's the plan anyway we'll see but I need to get there so if you can watch these videos and, and help me uh, increase those watch hours I'd really appreciate it called strike three or actually she swung a miss so that'll be two outs and I think we're in the fifth of course I forgot to change the innings of course do this real quick don't get a hit don't get a hit don't get a hit shit oh That'll be three outs. All right. So uh, that's the top of the fifth. We'll be back with the bottom of the fifth. Western is winning eight to two. We're getting towards the end of the game. I don't have many uh, sponsors at this point. But I do want to talk about this. So one of the things I'm trying to raise money for is a couple additional cellular connections. And what this does is creates a um, increases bandwidth and also creates a redundant connection meaning uh, if uh, one network line drops another one will pick up and uh, you know help make a more stable uh, live stream uh, so it's um, something that I 
want to do, uh, the only thing is it's expensive. So the one that I'm paying for now uh, costs me about $18 a month on my family plan. Uh, and these others will cost me $30 each a month. So, of course, I need to fund that. And it can be pricey, but uh, you know, hopefully when I monetize, um, it'll give me the funding that I need to cover that from month to month. So that's the that's the plan anyway. So this is the top of the sixth inning. I have fifth. I need to put six in there. So Emma Bagaki is batting. There's a hit. That's going to be over the right fielder's head. And she'll be in with a stand-up double. So the right field fence here is tall. They have it extended up for some reason. But it's probably a 10-foot fence, and it hit the top of it. That was a shot. There's a foul ball. We are starting to push time here. There's a called strike. This is uh, Zeely, Western's catcher. Missed high. This sump has called that a strike in previous pitches. There's a foul ball. That's a nice hit. So Singer, that's power that she's not using. So she uh, makes those just slight mechanical adjustments. Um, she can really add some power to her uh, swing there. It's a nice hit. There's a bone play that's going to get through. Looks like Short made a nice play, but uh, it gets through for an RBI. Yeah, when it's in that deep, that hole, deep in that hole, uh, you're not making a play. And there's another shot, and that's going to be fair. It's going to score another run, and that'll be a stand-up double. That was Verba? C. Verba. I don't know what her first name would be. There's a foul ball. That 
ball got past the shortstop. Scores another run. Westerns starting to pull away. Is that a foul ball? I'm going to have to check my batteries after this game. I got two more to do. Hopefully we have enough juice. Western had a nice season. They started off slow, but about midway through, they started to get on track and, and started to play really well and uh, did well in the playoffs, too. So we have second and third still. <laughs> and looks like that's time. All right. So thanks for watching BCSN. Appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, we got a game right after this, this one. So uh, watch it too. So we'll check you out. Thanks.